we move on to Sports MG, I want to play you some audio from Benji Marshall last night talking about Cam Murray and get your thoughts on this first up. Cameron Murray, number one player in the competition after that performance right now. Best player in the game. At the moment. Most influential. Through the middle, rough, tough, and the best part about it was at the end of the game, he did his press conference with eight stitches in his ear yep. and blood reaping yep. down the side of his neck like he'd been stabbed. And he apologised for not cleaning himself up before he went in. And he in still looked year. hot. Is Cam Murray number one? Um, not, not at the moment, no. Look, that the performance um, against uh, the Roosters was epic. And I, I put him in my, one of my top five players of the week. And um, it just, look, it goes to show when in that second game when he came off the bench after eight minutes. I don't know what was going on there. But Cam Murray, he'll captain New South Wales one day. He's, he's, a, he's a born leader. And he showed that against the Roosters. He's definitely one of the top five I think players in the competition at the moment, but you've got to look at someone like Isaiah Yo, who's had three men of the match performances back to back to back, um, and sits on nine points. Someone like Jerome Hughes, who's very you know has a a big say in the way that the Storms' fortunes go. Um, but look, it's hard to argue with Benji. It's hard to argue because Cam Murray's performance kind of showed us how good he was against a, a team that they have a, a fierce rival with. So. Keep it up, Cam Murray, and you will be headed for glory. He's already headed for glory because he's such a, a great player, but um, it's, a, it's a long season. It's a long season. We spoke yesterday about Mitch Barnett from the Knights and the elbow on Chris Smith from the Panthers. Uh, an ugly look. He faces the music tonight. MG, how do you see that playing out? Yeah, look, I, I don't see it playing out too well for him because I was watching a bit of three NRL 360 uh, last night and I saw the, the actual incident nine, ten, eleven times if, if, if I'm Mitch Barnett I don't want the judiciary members to see that because it was damning for him um, Paul Kent on the, on, on the panel tried to stick up for him and, and wrote a column today uh, basically you know, just not defending him but saying that there was mitigating circumstances um, for mine it was just a, a case of something that went amiss um, he was running across the field his, his, his elbow was tucked in his, into his chest and his elbow r- uh, rose and hit um, hit him in the jaw. Um, so you don't think it was on purpose? You don't think I, it was I don't think it was, it was a reaction. I don't think it was on, no. I don't think okay. it was intentional. I think it was reckless, definitely. Um, and if Chris Smith has, is a broken jaw, which luckily he didn't, we're, we're looking at maybe 10 to 12 weeks for Barnett. As it stands, I think we're looking between four and six. Have we heard from Chris Smith? Is he angry or is he okay? Like what, what's the, the emotion? He's on another from- radio station uh, on weekends. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, Chris Smith on 2GB. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no. Well, I hope Go his jaw's not Mitch broken. Barnett. He won't be able to talk. Um, I, I, yes, we have heard from him. He said that Mitch Barnett reached out to him straight away after the match and, and apologised mm. and said he was really, really sorry. And Chris Smith accepted his apology. Okay. Um, but I, I'm thinking that if Chris Smith was sitting there um, eating food through a straw, he wouldn't have been so um, forgiving. Yeah. And, and what advice do you have for him, the judiciary when he has to front up MG? Just... <sighs> Throw, throw, throw the mercy uh, to the judiciary. Say, oh look, I, I, I don't know. It was, it was a brain snap. It was nothing intentional. Um, I, you know, just all. When, when I was, I was in many charges um, over my career, and once you always Perth, handled it well, MJ. I, I think you were always yeah, graceful. I had my own yeah. car park at Phillips Street. And <laughs> in you go, buddy. Every second week. Um, I remember I was in Perth, and I was, I was doing a, um, I was doing a hookup via satellite, and um, I got four weeks for a, for a, a shoulder charge gone wrong. And I, I thought I'd, you know, I, I thought I'd beat the charge. Anyway, as, I, as I'm, the TV went off from the other end, and I'm walking out, and I said, "You pricks!" and st- stuck a finger up at the TV. <laughs> and then a voice came from the TV. Oh, excuse me, Mister Guy, come back, mate. We've uh, we've got vision of you doing that to oh, the judiciary. No. So I've got another two weeks, <laughs> six weeks suspension mate, for something I shouldn't have done. Anyway, all's well that ends well. The guy you shoulder charged is coming out of hospital yep. next week. Well, so uh, yeah, wish him well. Yeah.